Alright lads, it's Connor here from Pingu Arts, and today I'm bringing you my first ever tutorial on, in Adobe After Effects CS5, and it's going to be on the effect that I'm showing you right now. So yeah, basically that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing the advertisement pop-up, the play and pause, and the mouse cursor. So as you can see here, it pauses the video and the cursor rushes onto the ad and it closes it down and then it plays again and the cursor goes and then the shot happens. So right, let's go. Wait a minute. Um, right, so let's go. Um, so basically we're gonna go file import file and I'm just gonna import all these files all of these files will be in the description I will put a download in there so yeah buddy all right so let me just put all these in a future playing pause and now let's import my clip and my music Clips. I'll do the same clip so it'll be easier. File, import, file. Let's go back to edit. Okay, uh, edit music. Let's just add some logic in there. Casual. Logic casual, right? So let's go and then let's add the clip in there. Right, so first of all, what we'll want to do is. One minute. What we want to do is I'm going to drag the clip above the music because I find it easier. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. And then we're going to find out where we want the clip to happen. I'm just going to shorten it down for tutorial purposes. So what we're going to do is we're going to find out where we want the clip to happen. Like where we want the advertisement thing to happen. So I'm going to do it here like just on the dead frame. So what we want to do is we want to control C, control V, copy and paste this layer. And I want to go edit, split layer, no we don't, and then we want to, wait a minute, just let, right, so what we want to do is, we once you've um, copied and pasted that layer, we want to right click it, time, and freeze frame, so then as you can see we've just got a still image, so there, let's find out what we want to do, and then split the layer, by going edit, split layer, and then we delete that layer, and then we go down to the bottom layer, the first ordinary layer, the moving layer, Okay, and then we go down there and then we split it where the freeze frame starts. So we go edit split layer again and then we drag that behind the behind the freeze frame layer. So then it just replays again. Alright, so then next what we want to do is we want to go onto the music thing. We want to go on the music tab and where the freeze frame starts, where the pause is gonna happen. What we want to do is where the pause starts, what we want to do is we want to split the music layer. So then the, when the pause happens and the music stops, so what we're going to do is we split that and then we go to the end of it, which is there, and then we want to split that as well, and then we will delete the middle layer, and as you can see we've just got a plain thing with nothing on it. So basically what we want to do is now we want to import the cursor and the pause button. So which one's the pause button? Let's take a guess. I'm going to take a guess with that one. Yeah, or is that play? I don't know. But let's just go into this one first of all. So the cursor, what we do is we're going to scale up to about 180 by pressing S and then changing it down to 180, change it up to 180, and then we go into the mode, the layer style, and change that to screen. So then it gets rid of the black stuff. So what we're going to do is also we're going to drag it off the screen. Oh, what have I done there? We're going to drag it off the screen, and then we're going to press P and keyframe it here with a little stopwatch. And press P, so that's where we want it there. And no, in fact, I'm gonna drag that and just like as there, just before the freeze frame occurs, I'm gonna press P, P, and then we're gonna keyframe it. And then when we drag it on, we want that to be in the middle where the YouTube button is. So we're gonna drag that to where we want the pause to occur as well. So we want the pause to occur just about where the freeze frame happens. Sorry about that lads, as soon as my as soon as I start the video all my family just wanna come in and have a rave basically. Right, so what we got up to didn't we? We got up to the pause button. 
So what we want to do is for when the pause starts, which is there, but well, first of all we want to add a key light. So what you do is you come in here, key light, basically, and then we drag it onto the YouTube button, the YouTube pause button, then we press this little ink button here and go on the green bit, and then it gets rid of the green bit of course. And then we go onto the lay style again and add that screen. So then we get rid of the black bits. Yay. <laughs> And then, um, so what we want to do is for the cursor, when the pause button happens, so what we want to do, wait, did we scale the, right, scale the pause button up first to about 200, and then that makes it more visible and then it's better, yeah, that's right. And so then when the pause button happens, boom, which is there, we want basically the position of it, of the cursor to come on, so the keyframe should already be happening. happening. So then we drag the cursor onto where the pause button happens as soon as it starts. So then as you can see here, we've got the mouse coming on and, and then pausing it. Yeah, sorry, sorry about that, lads. It's family again, <laughs> just being weird, stopping, starting. So right, what we got up to was we got up to when the cursor comes on and then the pause button pause effect so then it pauses the freeze frame so then we want the basic we basically want the ad to pop up just about there so we want the ad to start to pop up so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add that ad oh hey add the ad and we're gonna scale this up by pressing S and we're gonna scale it to about 200 or about 180 200 good maybe a bit big but it makes it look a lot slicker so what we're gonna do is we're gonna position it just around, just I'll move forward a couple of frames. I'm gonna position it at the freeze frame when he pauses it. Wait, first of all, we're gonna screen it. Screen. So, first of all, when that's there, I'm gonna keyframe the position there. So, I'm gonna go back to about there, and then I'm gonna drag the position down. Um, so it's not showing so it pops up so then it goes up and then we're basically going to move the cursor once the video is paused onto the cross there and then we're going to adjust the opacity so once the cursor is over there we're going to adjust the opacity by pressing T on the add and we're going to keyframe at 100 move forward about one or two frames and then keyframe it at zero. So then that's sorted and then the basically the ad's clicking off and then it's sorted. And then basically we want the cursor. Now we want to add the play button. So there we go. And we're gonna add a key light to that as well. Just drag it onto where you want it to be. So there's the ad closed. So then basically we want the play button to be about around there. So when the cursor now we're going to move it forward a bit so it's not too fast. So we're going to move the cursor like from there. So when it starts, we're going to move it to there again. And then we're going to add another key light to this. I know a key light galore. And then we're going to add a key light to the YouTube play button. And then click on the ink thing again, add it to there. And then screen. So basically, it's really simple from now screen it and then that's playing and then the play video plays again so we're basically we're going to trim this down that's going to be really fast but you can it's all down to personal preference how fast you want it um so then that's going to be there and then that's moving and then when that's finished we want the cursor to go back out again oh we want the cursor to go back out again and then basically, yeah, that's sorted. Just we need to move the music back to where it should be. So right, I'm gonna pause the video and render off, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay. <laughs> right, lads. Um, I've kind of fucked it up, but it's like fine. It's just really fast, so you can always adjust it. So this is really fast. So this is what your look at it. It's not. It's very very fast. So. So it plays and then it shouldn't be that fast, it should be slow like in the preview that I've shown you. Just wait, it's being weird and it's not like 
wait a minute, we need the audio, don't we? Oh, that's one thing that I missed out, the click sound, didn't we? So, let's just add the mouse click. Da -da 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 -da. Mouse clicks to where we want it. Don't we? So we basically want the mouse click just about so where the mouse comes on when he presses play. No pause, which is there. So we press LL to get an exact thing of it, and then we see the waveform. So control C, control V, control V, and we see each thing, and then we just drag it to where we want it. So then it goes down to the opacity, and then we press on the add. So we want that to be about there. And then bring the waveform back up. And then for this one, we want it to be just on the play button. So that's going to be the. Wait, whoa, where's the play button? If you want to know. Oh, that's mucked up, hasn't it? Um, we'll win it? So the play button should be round about there. So when that comes in, so we want it to be there. So the waveform should be there. Right, so. <laughs> sorry about that. You just move it basically to where you want and move the clicks to where you want it to be. So while this renders again, I'll just um, pause it and see. It. Right, this is rendered, so yeah. That's really fast. It really shouldn't be like that, so... That's too fast for me. I'm not going to adjust it yet because it's been a long tutorial, but... Yeah, so this has been Pingo Arts. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. I'll just show you guys what it should look like. Um, first of all and how fast it should be personally it's all down to personal preference how fast you want it I didn't like how fast I did it then but right so let's do this pop this up this is what it should be like That's what it should be like. So, this has been Pingu Arts, Connor from Pingu Arts, and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching if you've stayed for this long, and peace.